I love Kamshi for his life and for his work. I love uh, that Gramsci is a non-dogmatic Marxist. He is uh, somebody who, by the history, by the fact of history, was always on the loser side. So I wanted to do a new kind of monument. And my idea was to do a monument who I decide to whom it is dedicated. Nobody asked me to do a monument for who is or his person. I decide myself as an artist, as a, as a citizen. I um, was invited to do a project in New York City from the DR Foundation. So I proposed them, look, I want to do the Gramsci monument in New York City. Even famous people don't die in the, in the city center. This is an interesting question where then these monuments or these altars should be. I was fixed on six different spots, where I, all in the Bronx, where I met people already, and I had to work out who really um, then uh, will do it with me. Eric Farmer, who was for me so important key figure in Gramsci Monument, in Forest Houses, said to me, Thomas, do it here with us. We will help you. We will do it together. Oh, our first meeting was pretty funny, actually. I really didn't understand 80% of what he was saying, that his acting is so strong. But by the middle of our conversation, it's like I understood everything he was saying. And I was on board with it totally. I, I love Kamshi because his loyalty to his family, to his mother, for example, and the simplicity how he had exp he explained to his family, to his sons, for example, what he was doing. So I love him for a lot of reasons, but also for the fact that he is a kind of model of how a politic can be written also today with a big P and not with a small politician P. And he explained to me that he wanted to do a monument, but my understanding the monument was something that didn't move, that was, you know, that was stable, that was, that would be there. But he explained to me that it was a, it was a temporary monument, and it was going to be about a, a general named Gramsci. So I choose materials that everybody knows and everybody uses. I choose materials like cardboard, photocopies, wood, tape silver paper, plastic foil, etc. I want to work with material who are non-intimidating as material and also are in a kind of fragility and precariousness. To me, it's like a big clubhouse. We used to build these type things when I was growing up. It was an eyesore, if you really look at it, with just a big piece of wood in a sense, but it was actually beautiful. What I wanted is there is something who is only for a short time, I mean uh, 77 days in the summertime, but really who something goes out, you know, like uh, really every moment on the, something comes out. The Spanish people weren't speaking to the black people and I thought it would just maybe bring us all together. We can start conversing again and trying to be neighbors the way it was when I was growing up. I knew he was also going to help the residents with employment, even though it was only for 77 days, but it was still employment. I devised the production in daily events and in weekly events. A newspaper every day, a philosophical lecture by Marcus Steinweg every day. Then, of course, the bar, the internet corner, the radio station, the library, the exhibition space was every day. And then I wanted to do weekly events. So, for example, on Monday, there was a Gramsci theater. Tuesday, a poetical lecture. Wednesday, there was a running event. A running event was an event to people from the neighborhood proposed me to do. This is my roots. This is all I knew. 
Thursday there was a field trip. Then Friday there was an art school, I made an art school. Saturday there was a real Gramsci scholar with a conference and Sunday there was um, um, an open microphone. So every weekday there was a, a production and combined by the everyday production we had. So there was a, a, a big production, a lot of production in the Gramsci mind. I am the author of the Gramsci moment, of course. But what I want is that others are also the authors. In our world, we start with what I call shared authorship. The dangerous just balances at the edge of the tail. But I think shared authorship is a, a, an, an old model because it's based on 100% and it's shared, for example, on 40%, perhaps 30%, perhaps 20% here, and then 10%, you know. It's in the streets where there's a low pulse, a strut, a bead of boppers out swinging the stressor. This is the old model. I am here for 90%, 10%, 50%, whatever. But I think it's not working. Thomas is a hands full. I love his energy. It was always about his artwork. He even sat there and argued with the police about it and argued with housing about it. And I sat and watched him and, and I saw how dedicated and how serious he was about it. The Gramsci monument was not based on this shared authorship. It was based on what I called an invented non-shared authorship. Somebody says, I am 100% author. Me, for example. Yes, yes. I'm 100% the author. What I want that somebody else says, me too, I am 100% the author of the Gramsci monument. Me too, it's based on an affirmation, me too. And then somebody came and said, me too, I'm 100%. I'm the author also, etc., etc. The majority of the community loved it. They asked about, they asked about it every day. You know, they, they, they wish it could come back. You know, and I always got to explain to them, like, no, it was only going to be just one time, and that's, and that's it. You know, and that's because it brought so much to the community, and they know that, and they just wish it could happen again. There is a progression. There is a dynamic. There are 200 persons, 300 persons, 400 persons, 1,000 persons, etc., etc. And this is, I think, the, um, the, um, the future. Giving these residents the jobs, the 40-plus residents we did give jobs, they're all, majority of them, still working now. It's like they gave them, he gave them that energy and that get up and go to let them know that you can do something. You know, half of them didn't, didn't know anything about building the monument. They had anything to do with construction. They had nothing to do with anything that Thomas brought to us. But they all was involved. And after that, it gave them, you know, some motivation to get up and want to do something. You know, so to me, that's the biggest thing that I see. There's a lot of people that's actually still working, and that started because of the monument. So the Gramsci monument, I, I, I was always happy when somebody said, uh, from the neighborhood, uh, it's my, my part, or I made this, or we made it, or uh, uh, it's my decision, or it's our monument. That's about it. That's the idea. That's the utopian idea. We have to work forward. Oh, man, the monument is one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had in my life. I can definitely say that. Perhaps it would be more, more efficient, more functional to do a monument about Martin Luther King or Malcolm X or who knows, who I knows in the Bronx. But the fact to do it for Gramsci was the cornerstone to insist on the autonomy, autonomy of an artistic decision uh, to do a monument for Gramsci. This is the very important part, but also because when it's autonomous, it has the possibility to make an entrance in the thinking of Gramsci, for example, with his beautiful, absolutely beautiful, uh, and for me so important uh, quote, even when it's really easy to say, every human being is an intellectual. He works, who works in the Bronx, but also even more, because it's based on completely autonomy, uh, on the fact that he was in prison 
long time, 11 years, the last most important 11 years of his life. And also in the Bronx, a lot of people has either a prison experience or know something who was in prison. So there are, based on autonomy, possibility to make links. And I'm interested in this. Gramsci was, to me, was a radical. He was, he was, he was a lot like my idol, Malcolm X. I really respect what he fought for, what he stood for, and, and he didn't let anyone change how he felt about anything. He died for what he believed in. And to me, that's, that's deep. Not many people have that, that courage to do something like that.